YouTube, welcome to my channel. So I partnered with CoverGirl for today's video and I wanted to create one of my favorite beauty looks from Making the Cut on Amazon Prime. Season two is now out. They have new episodes every Friday and it kind of like reminds me of America's Next Top Model but like the designer version and it's nice because you not just get to see like the hustle bustle and behind the scenes but you also get to hear the stories be behind like what is going on in their head when they're like creating these pieces that you're seeing walking down the runway and then the winning looks get to be sold on amazon so if you go on um their socials on the instagram there's like a bunch of different photos of the winning looks and there were a few in particular that i scouted out and really liked in this whole season in general season two for me it kind of gives me like the natural fresh glowy summer vibes they do use all cover girl makeup believe it or not which i think is really cool but if you look at a lot of the photos or the runway looks on the models and things like that you'll see that they use a lot of like super glowy they'll sometimes they'll have like a bold eye or like a really bold lip or like a dark mauve lip for the most part they're just like it's very natural and that's what i love about covergirl because you can keep it super simple great for everyday basic which i love personally or you can amp it up and they're very affordable so i have a bunch of products here in front of me and i'm going to be using all covergirl products for today's video i do already have my brows and lashes done but other than that everything else is going to be covergirl and there were these two photos here from making the cut tv on their socials this is one of the models you can see she has like that gorgeous bronzy i mean look at those cheekbones amazing and then this one right here also has like that glowy she has like a nice sheen to her eyeshadow as well and she has more of like a mauvey lip a lot of these are from the line clean fresh they do have multiple lines and i have already tried this skin milk before i actually really like it it's great for like every day this is the color 560 medium in my opinion it is great for like that no makeup makeup look and i have really dry skin right now i started a bit of a stronger retinol so it's even drier so this is actually amazing just to like add a little bit of color to your face without being too much and it doesn't like uh, cling to my dry patches or anything let me actually use a brush for this because i feel like the sponge right here might soak up a little bit too much and i feel like the brush is great for more coverage in my opinion i know everybody has a different preference but i like to use a brush for like skin tints and then i'll use a blender for like concealer under the eyes and things like that so it's not too heavy too heavy because i don't want my under eye to be too heavy but it just offers a really nice glowy finish and it covers like a little bit of imperfections obviously you can still see i have like some breakouts right here it doesn't cover everything it's very light but it's in my opinion it's great for like those no makeup makeup days or just in general to use every day I personally love these kind of products so this is definitely something that i have liked i purchased in the past before and it's definitely a product that i love and next i'm going to use the clean fresh concealer i have mine in the i think it's light fair light yeah so it's the color 330 fair light and this kind of reminds me a bit it has like a serum -y consistency it's definitely not heavy or cakey and i don't use a lot of concealer i'll just dab some along the sides of my nose like right here to kind of help brighten it up and wherever I have imperfections, not imperfections, you know, like breakouts and stuff like that. And wherever else I feel like I need it, I feel like this side is really, it's really going through something. And this is when I like to use the sponge. This one is from Amazon. It was like $4. I personally love it because it's like a great dupe for the beauty blender. But it's just really, really affordable. I mean like $3.97 or something like that. It's a very light coverage concealer. It's just enough to like brighten up. It's not too thick. It blends in fairly well very affordable products like i said and then usually what i'll do is set my face i have the clean fresh transparent powder here it comes with like a little poof but because i'm going to be using more cream products i'm going to go ahead and use those first so this is the it's like a cream blush of sorts and this is in the color butterflies or butterfly yeah butterflies 370 i think it is such a gorgeous color a little bit goes a long way but i want to apply these before i do like the rest of my makeup with the dry products and i'm going to use a brush for this because i used a um, beauty blender and it can be a little bit difficult to blend in but a little bit goes a long way and it adds like the prettiest color to your cheeks just like you could probably blend it in with your finger but i do find and i would blend right away it can be like a little bit patchy the formula the color is gorgeous i wonder if they have this in like a pressed formula 
I would definitely buy it. I feel like doing gentle blocking motions really helps. So look at this. So I guess you kind of figure out what works best for you, but for me, gently buffing it in has definitely helped blend it in seamlessly and it leaves like this gorgeous flush of color and beautiful sheen. So this, not too crazy about. I don't want to use it because I don't want to mess up this gorgeous color that I have going on, but now I will go ahead and set my face with their transparent powder and I'm just going to do like a little bit under the under eye. I don't, I still want to keep some of that glow, but at the same time you don't want your makeup to move. So for the summertime, I'm not heavy on like the setting powder and stuff like that. Just because I do have dry skin already, so I guess it depends on your skin type. If you have like really oily skin, then setting powders are probably your holy grails. But for me, it's just to kind of keep my makeup from moving a little bit. And I have used this powder. I do think it is a good product. Very affordable. It's just like your typical setting powder it works for me for my skin type and I have really dry skin but now I'm gonna go in with the true blend so flushed high pigment bronzer and I chose this one in particular because you can tell it has like a gorgeous sheen to it and now mine is in the color sunset glitz I have tried this and it just leaves a gorgeous sheen like for summertime I feel like this is a perfect bronzer I'm just gonna bronze the nose a little bit and then go in on the cheeks pat it in Look at this it's like the, it's not too warm and it's not too muddy it can get muddy obviously if you apply too much but I just like that photo this is definitely reminds me of that photo where it adds that gorgeous sheen it like makes her cheekbones pop I actually really like this and this is gorgeous glowy look and I'm gonna finish off with a liquid lip this is their covergirl outlast Alton Bat liquid lip and this is the color Prosecco pop I believe yep so this is the color Prosecco pop and it has easily become from the first time that I've used it my all-time favorite nude liquid lipstick like I have been looking everywhere for a color like this and it is the perfect nude for my skin tone because it's not it's not too pink it's not too mauvey it's not too brown it's like the perfect nude for me so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the lips it does have like a almost smells like a Kirkland's or like a candle store that's what it reminds me of. I know that's so weird, but those are like the vibes I'm getting. So it does, the smell doesn't like linger. It's not too bad. I don't know if that bothers some people, but the color, I love. It's like very creamy at first and hydrates, but then it dries into like a nice matte color. And that is literally it. I know that it took much longer because I'm filming and kind of like talking through what I'm doing and things like that. But for every day, it, it would just be like the skin milk and add some bronzer, some flushed color to the cheeks. And honestly, you're like good to go, especially if you have your lashes already done, like the DIY lashes that I do. I personally think it's kind of cool that they use CoverGirl for making the cut because it's great for every day, like the everyday person. You don't necessarily have to be a makeup artist, but at the same time, if you wanted to, you could also um, amp it up to like the next level. For example, you can take this butterfly cream blush and you can actually use it for the eye area so let me do that for both eyes i'm gonna apply some like all across the lid and then go in with this bronzer and do like the um what do you call it brow bone area like had like a brain fart for a second there but i think that would be a gorgeous look as well if you wanted to like glam it up for the nighttime or something trust the process of blending you guys i know it looks crazy right now <laughs> like look at this trust the process just like added like a little bit of color to the lid space and then I'm going to use the bronzer like I said to the brown bo brow bone area to kind of like help deepen it up a little bit. And just something like that just adds like a great pop of color to the eyes really gorgeous makeup look in my opinion i love the glowiness to it the sheen the bronziness this would actually work for fall time too if you wanted to like switch up the lip make it a little bit darker they do have makeup palettes they have so many different lines i will leave all the products that i used in the description box down below check out making the cut on amazon prime thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video 
easy breezy beautiful covergirl look and i'll see you guys in future videos